Hello, children. So, 3-0 uh, with Chant Shaw. And uh, I got to tell you that uh, when he first walked up, man, I had to uh, reevaluate my plan. Chance walked up, and his right hand was like 20% bigger than his left hand. And, I mean, I, I fall into this gap, and I tell beginners not to do it all the time. But uh, it's like, it seems like you're always training for your last match. You know, you're not training for the future match. And that's what I did. And I was confident I could have taken the hand of the man I'd pulled before. But he walked up, and that right hand was so big, instead of getting this on him, I got stuck there. And that was a... Uh, I preach this all the time. Develop a plan, work the plan, don't change it. I had to change my plan because the man with the hand messed up my plan. But, uh, so, round one, I didn't, I, 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 was, I, I knew I was gonna hit a high and outside, and I was also expecting him to, you know, hit like he normally did. He did not. And I'm gonna misremember this quite a bit because I was fully caffeinated and fully adrenalized and it didn't work out. So it went over, he won the hit every single time. And the first time it went over, I think we went in the straps the first time. But in the, in the straps, it was my house, my, my, my house, my party. And I won the first one. The second one, we switched sides. I think I fault started. There's a controversy. I think in the second match, we both elbow fouled. They called his, they didn't call mine. Um, I don't fight with the refs ever. Uh, but they actually assigned him a foul on the second one. I think he fouled out on the second match. Well, they should have given us both a foul on the second match, but they just gave him one. But I believe I only collected like, I don't think I collected more than one foul a match. I really hate doing these things right right afterwards because I would remember more. But by the third one, by the third one I'd established that his hand was big enough, I couldn't pop it out like I could, like we were in practice. But I also knew when he top rolled me out, he would take my hand here, but not there, all right? John or some other top roller, like Marcio in October is going to try to bust my hand here. That's gonna be a harder, place to, to um, fight from. Um, let's see, what else? I knew I could. I knew once the match stopped, his, his arm and elbow aren't, uh, aren't up to snuff. Maybe it's that Brandon Allen weightlifting program. I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to make a list of everybody on that filthy power program. And I'm just going to start checking them off. So I got, I got Chance. I'm coming after Michael Todd in July. We're going to deal with that. Um, I won 3-0. Uh, let's see what else happened. He was faster off go. I, I fault started once. I think it was third match. I think I could have easily, bam, I think I could have, because even though he was top rolling knuckles higher than I was expected, and he wasn't actually low hand top rolling like what I was expecting. He was, he was still coming up. He was almost still more posting more. Um, he tried. He, he got all inside on a press, but he's not tall enough to press me. My inside game is pretty freaking solid. I'll tell you what. My inside game is kind of a rare individual that's going to beat me inside. His outside game, though, <laughs> his outside game was better than I gave him credit for. But, um, his strap game, strap game's a little weak. Um, but, here's the takeaway. John Brzezink barely, barely, barely beat Chance. If John Brzezink's cousin was not the ref, Chance would have won two, maybe three matches in that, right? I won every match. So, you know, I'm just saying, arm wrestling math is what it is. 
Love you, kids. Call your mom. Call your grandma.